back to another special episode of Captain Kirk Productions. Today on the show, once again, Dr. Chef. Like you said, once again. And Drake. Hey guys, um, I've got p- personal feelings that says this stack of comics is outrageous. So, tune us in. You know what I like doc- about Dr. Chef? No, he know. stays ready. That's I what I like ready. about him. Yeah. So he's ready for this right now. I'm ready for this. Now one. this is video three. We're bringing back the heat with this one. Okay, six thousand dollar comic book haul. Video three. Let's get into it. First of all, we have the Spider Woman, number one. Um, fairly certain I heard that this character was going to be in a film or a TV show or something. Okay. This is her in her first run. This is not the first appearance. Right. First run. Um, so I just decided to pick it up. Decent condition, book I didn't have. I uh, never like sought it out personally, but you know what? The opportunity presented itself, and it was a good deal, so I went for it. So, yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, this book is being sold like crazy right now. It's, uh, if you uh, happen to be on the Go Collect app, um, it's, it's, uh, I think, within the top ten of uh, sell sales recently. So is it? It is. Huh. It's a hot book. I mean, it's still, it's not, you, you wouldn't get a whole lot of money for this one, but it's still. It's, people want it in their PC. They do. They want a PC, they're, they're specking on it, they think, you know, stuff's going to happen with it soon, and the industry right now is pushing everything up, so. And it's, it's a pretty it. nice condition book. It, it doesn't look bad, say. for sure. Now, like I said, I can't remember the first appearance. I know the issue number is 32, but I can't remember what the title was, like Web of Spider, I don't know. Comment down well, below because yeah. I just can't remember. Yeah. So, but moving on here. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Moving on, we have a very special book. Okay. And that book is Star Trek number one. Ooh. This, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This is my third copy of this. <laughs> so I have, a nine, I have a 9 a 7 0, and this is like a low, a mid, mid grade. We'll say like five. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But you know what? When your name is Kirk. And you have a Star Trek one available, you buy it. You buy it. Right? Yeah. So I paid 200 bucks for this, nothing too crazy. Um, so not much else to say about it, Drake, anything? I mean, do you think it's that low? I mean, it's definitely not a nine. It's got some, I don't know, it's fine. Not, I'd say six, six. You think? Yeah. I mean, it's decent. I looked getting um, yeah, I guess. getting um, one of my books signed by William Shatner. I need to look into that again because I really I think that'd be really cool. Do you think you could crack your nine and do it? I would be willing to do it because it's not worth yeah as much as you'd think. I think I bought it for like five hundred a few years ago. Yeah, which for a nine it's gone up and since obviously. I mean, <laughs> probably, but um, I mean, I'm willing to risk it getting a lower grade to have the signature. He's ninety years old. He's yeah. not gonna be around that much longer. Yeah, but you should. So, but something to keep in mind. Let's transition to this next book. Ooh. Hot. Can you say uh, hot? Hot. Fire. Hibachi. Hibachi grill. <laughs> First, um, uh, black um, suit. Suit. Oh, First is black. <laughs> black suit. Spider Man. Yeah. What do you think I'll say? That originally was not part of the collection that I went through. Um, but he had it on his wall, like someone else had That's brought a nice it in. Cover. It's a good, good cover. Good it grade. is a nice cover. Um, and I just decided to throw it in the mix because I was on a spending spree, so why not? Yeah. It looks like it's in really good condition. Mm-hmm. It's got some, got some good, good yeah. shape on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really nice shape. The yeah, rumors so. are true, yeah, as the book says. Yeah, absolutely. But again, this book is selling uh, pretty high. I mean, pretty quick work right now. Now, Drake. I'm going to need you to put that down because, as you okay. said, on the Gold Collect app, you mentioned Spider-Woman as being on the top ten. Number one on the top ten list as of right now. Go ahead. Well, thanks for stealing my setup, but yes, number <laughs> one on the top ten list is Captain America 117, the first appearance of the Falcon. Everyone's Sam Wilson, Sam. the Falcon. Yeah. Great, great job, Dr. Chef. Just, you know. So this, ooh, kind of looking at this, we got some stains happening here. This yeah, it's, it's not a great color. It's not a great. Water stains. We're looking yeah. mid-grade, but hey, you know what? Uh, I already have this in a 9.6 because I'm big baller status over here. <laughs> 
Bring in the heat. Bring in the heat. Exactly. I didn't realize you had nine six. Wow. You guys even watch this channel? It's like you're in every video or something. I feel like you know how Drake's drunk during the video. <laughs> yeah. No. I feel like I have to be drunk watching the video. Right, yes. Exactly. <laughs> but regardless, this is still a good copy. I still have it pressed and clean and graded because this character is just getting started, right? I guess. It's on the way up. It's doing to the moon. Let's talk about um, Silver Surfer number four. How now, many of these do you have? Of that? Yeah. I have one. I used to have two, so I had this in a 9.4. Um, the one I sold was like 9.2, I believe. Okay. It wasn't lower than 9. Um, I sold it, and then also it was like a partial sale slash trade. Uh, I got an FF. It was the one that has Adam Warlock. First him, I can't remember what yeah. issue that is off the top of my head, like 57 maybe, something like that. That and some money for this particular issue. Since I already had one, I just decided to get something else I wanted to this the collection. A, now, this is not a 9, 6, or Nowhere four. near that. But no. this is an ic- iconic cover that's always going to be worth something. And if they put Silver Surfer versus Thor in a movie and they recreate this cover, it's going to go to the moon again. Mm-hmm. So... It's just great. I love it. It's an awesome cover. That's a good cover. Mm. I remember doing a video on that. Yeah. yeah. It was it was a great unboxing video I did for that. That was mm-hmm. amazing. Let's talk about this next hot book. This is hot. <sighs> You're telling me. Now, they just came out with this trailer. No idea what it's talking about. No. Nope. <laughs> but it's Eternals number one. Very mysterious. Very mysterious. Now, um, <laughs> they were kind of roasting this trailer. On the, did you guys see this? Yeah. yeah. About how they said... Uh, you know, we decided to keep ourselves hidden until now that everyone's like, oh, all these other things that happened. Yeah. They're not no, gonna... <laughs> they're just sitting there watching the Avengers. <laughs> just wipe out half of humanity. Yeah. yeah, we don't care. Uh, but anyway, um, I don't know anything about Eternals. I'm not going to lie to you. I just know Angelina Jolie is in the movie, Ooh. and she is... That's a most watch. Fine. And... She's a great actress, too. She can... mm-hmm. Wow, she is so talented. Exactly. The guy Chip Harrington, is that his name from? Or Kit Harrington? From Game of Thrones, is that right? Kit. Kit Harrington, he's Black Knight. Um, there's some other big cast members that I can't think of off the top of my head. So there's some big names in it. I mean, it's got potential. I'd be in, I'm going to watch it, but I just I still don't know anything about it. So hopefully it could be like another Guardians where I just go in knowing nothing and come out going, wow, this is amazing. So. And this is in good condition, actually. This is probably one of the best uh, books that we uh, It was in good seen. condition until we handed it to you. Oh, oh that's fine. It is hot. It's hot. It's hot. All right. Hey, just so speaking of hot, be careful with this one, please, because this is hot. The Avengers Fifty Seven. Wow. Oh, quickly, just he just whipped it out. Just... So again, I have this and nine six boy. You do. Now that not nine six. How much did that go for? Last time I checked, which has been a while, it wasn't as much as you think. Remember? It was four thousand, but I guarantee you, it's. That was a long time ago. That's how It's expensive right now. Well, obviously, with WandaVision and the comic market, all these different things kind of uh, meeting head on to raise the price. But um, that's mainly why. All right, all right. But I also had a 9, it was a 9, 4, 9, 2, that again, I sold, sold them. bought something else with it. So I just kept okay, right. keeping the higher grade is always kind of my MO. Yeah, but now you got another one. So got another one, get this one graded, slabbed, probably head out. At some point, so yeah. what were we looking at? Was that right, or is it higher? It was like four grand still. Yeah, it's surprising to me that a nine six is going for that. But anyway, yeah, now we're ahead. moving on to some DC goodness. We have. Oh, I'll show that. Yeah, go ahead. Go this ahead. one first. Go. It doesn't go matter. All, it's fine. So this is first Deathstroke, mm-hmm. which I have one of these getting graded now. I love this book. This, does anyone know the significance of this? I do not. Right? The Judas right. contract. This is the first appearance of. Nightwing. Ooh, oh, really? Yeah, so I, didn't realize I haven't that. checked the grade pricing on this in a while. I bought a 94 a few years ago. It was 100 bucks, so very affordable keep. Well, um, and we know Nightwing is going through the roof. I think there's talks of something coming well, out. Well, in Teen Titans, yeah. he's uh, he be- spoiler alert, he became Nightwing after yeah. the second season. <laughs> so, right. Which Teen Titans is freaking amazing. Yeah. If you haven't seen Teen Titans, that might be my favorite. Uh, it's so good. Yeah. I love the, love the violence. But season three is coming out later this year, too. Cool. Now, bringing back 
some other crazy heat. We have Flash 106. Oh, and the Pied Piper. Oh! Pied Piper is in the building. First appearance of... Pied of Piper. Gorilla <laughs> Grodd. Oh, no, I don't really know that is. No, he's one of the main villains he's main of villain. Flash. He's an ape. He's got mind control. He'll control you with his mind. Mm. Um, I did not have this. Um, 110 is where my run starts on Flash with the Kid Flash um, issue. And this is an expensive book. It's old, but expensive. Low grade, but expensive. So we got 600 bucks is what I paid for this. So quite a bit of money, even in this grade. Yeah. Um, but again, we're probably looking, I would say, two to three range. I mean, it's, the spine's pretty beat up. So yeah. this was very well well. Would it be happy would you, if it came back at five? You'd be like, wow. I would, yeah. I mean, that would be amazing. Okay. I mean, honestly, I would be amazed with like a four. Honestly, but like the spine's pretty dinged up. Um, the spine's the biggest still issue. Amazing, though. But yeah, yeah what, what do you know what, what year this is from? Uh, Early 50, flash. 59 or 60. Oh, wow. I think 59. Now, it's unfortunate that we didn't have the. Uh, oh. Now, if you stayed along for the ride through this part and you thought that we had some big books, which we do. We have some really big books. We have some big books. We're bringing some big really books. Really, really big books. Which books? No, this one's not quite that big yet. So just, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a little teaser. But out. we have Amazing Adventures 11, First Furry Beast. This is the second one of these I owned. Um, I don't remember what how much this cost. It wasn't that that bad. No. Um, but I just decided to pick it up because it was a good deal. We so why not? And we have a nine in the house already. Which, which they is, graded as a seven. We they, had a press clean, came back a nine. Oh, amazing. And this looks much lower than a nine. Yeah. So we're saying like seven, eight-ish on this. Yeah. So, so it's cool book. Decent. Oh, it was a good price, so I uh, said why not. This book we talked about in a previous episode. And you asked me about it. Yeah. You said... You know, are you gonna get this? And I was like, I don't think so. It was just too expensive. Too I felt like, mm. yeah. Mm. So we bought like a consolation book. Yeah. But the opportunity presented itself, and it was a grand opportunity. We have ourselves a two hundred Dracula ten. Now the great thing about this book, I paid five hundred bucks, maybe less for it. Okay. And looking at Go Collect, a was it a four point five sold for four seventy five, mm. which is around what I paid for it. This book is significantly higher than mm. that grade. I'm saying like lowest possible grade in my opinion. What nothing I know about grading. <laughs> so any I mean like there's potential for some really big kind of turnaround on this. Granted, it's not probably something that I would ever sell. It would just be part of my collection because I. You know, I did always kind of want it, but I just kind of felt like it was too key expensive. Book. This is a very key book. Um, so I feel like I made up pretty well on this. It's got some spine roll. I mean, you can fix that. And we got some issues here, like on the side. I don't know if you can see, but there's definitely some creasing. I'm thinking it looks, it could be an eight, I think. Bro, it, if that comes back an eight, that's it crazy. It could be. It, isn't, it looks other than that How about you spine. Tell them, tell them why we want it to come back a high grade, because, you know, it's a big book because. Well, obviously, the uh, the film's coming out with Mahershala, right? Yeah. Mahershala Ali. So this is going to just keep spiking more and more. It's just been spiking a lot recently. And you know what? Side note, this just came to my head. Did it? Another book that I probably, I said that I probably never own is Werewolf by Night 32. So I'm just going to put that out there that I'm never going to own that. And just hopefully the opportunity will present itself that it will be there for me next time. Okay? Because yeah. that's how this works, obviously. You're not going to own it. No. Never gonna happen. Blade it. growing Not up gonna was happen. one of my favorite film series. Last time we talked about Blade, Dr. Burba said he yeah. watched it over every and day. Over, yeah. How did we not know this? I had no idea. That explains so much. I, I, like his <laughs> anger issues and all that, you know? <laughs> you know, it's too bad we don't actually have the actual House of Secrets 92, but we do have this consolation prize, which is just kind of like a like a reprint kind of a thing. That's like Great book to read, right? Yeah, it's a really good book. It um, actually looks in good condition. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's not, you know, obviously not the book, but um, it's just something really cool to have. Just kind of like a good consolation prize for the actual book. Oh, right here. What? oh my gosh. <laughs> Check this out. That people in pristine condition. This is an absolutely glorious copy of Glorious. Glorious. So the uh, company I purchased this from said it was 
uh, V was it VFNM? Is that what they said? Mm-hmm. Which was like eight five. I think it's eight five to like nine range. Yeah. Um, it wasn't cheap. It was with tax like twenty hundred bucks. But if it comes back nine, um, that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big uptick in what I paid for it. And kind of looking at it, there's not a lot of just issues that you can really see. And it's black. It's like dark cover, so you would be able to see a lot of issues. Yeah, I just there's just not much wrong with it. Like on the spine, the spine looks good to me. Um, again, I don't know <laughs> Jack Squad about great, but to me, this looks like an amazing book. Yeah, you know, I think if you're a comic collector, I mean, of course, of course, Turtles number one is, you know, but it's pretty high, highly sought after. But the first Swamp Thing, I, you know, in my opinion, is one of the must-haves if you're a comic collector. And to have it in this condition so good. is just amazing. And it's, so when we send it off and get it back, if it's... I mean, it's going to be glorious no matter what, but I'm excited. It's literally probably one of the best covers of all time. Like, I mean, it's just so it's, mysterious it's, and cool. It's just so the way they cool. did it with him, like, and snaking the purple, up on her. It's just amazing. It's awesome. It's great. So, we uh, we just left it all on the field today, boys. That's everything that I had in this episode. I mean, we that was had, part three. That was part three. There's one more part. I don't know if you guys can handle it. But it's coming either way, so just prepare yourselves, okay? Do whatever you gotta do. Pray, meditate fast. And Gatorade. Gatorade. Keep your uh, electrolytes up because video four is gonna be dropping soon. So, guys, thanks for checking us out. And hopefully you stay till the end to witness the greatness that is House of Secrets 92 in high grade. Um, that's all I got. Guys, anything else? Hey, I hope I'm around for part four. And, Drake, take us out. I want to be in part four, too. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. We're, we want to be in part four. <laughs> Kurt? That'll be that, boys. See you next week.